Hello guys. <coughs> Today again I came to you this topic arithmetic progression. So myself Sandeep Gandhi. Now today we will discuss on completely complete this topic arithmetic progression means what kind of things we are solving according to the grade ten. Okay, in and what questions and what formulas will come and the derivation of the formulas. So I am going to start this topic with this word progression or as my theory you know before starting the chapter you should know the name of the chapter complete at first means what is the meaning of the name of the chapter. So here two things are coming arithmetic and progression. Arithmetic all of you know okay it's coming from junior classes. Now the progression. Progression means a sequence. Okay. Progression means a sequence. Okay. What kind of sequence? Okay. It can be any sequence. Okay. But in the number cases, succession of numbers according to the same rule. You know, numbers are going in one series. But the rule should be same for each and every term. Not for that for starting two terms we are using different rule for next two like suppose 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, 10 they are not in sequence they are not in sequence because here we are following one rule this number is increasing one by one one but here directly increase three but here increase two and then again increase one so this number means all the terms all the succeeding so is not following the same rule okay here one here, here difference you see plus one here plus one here plus three directly totally different okay then again you see here plus two here plus one so this is not a sequence if i will write the number counting directly one two three four five six and seven and up to so, so it's sequence. They are following the one and only one rule. We are adding one in each preceding term to get succeeding term. So everywhere in every preceding term we are adding one and we are getting succeeding term. So here is also the this is the sequence, but this is not sequence. Okay, like the all the tables are in the sequence only two, four, six, eight, ten and 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 all the tables up to infinite they are in sequence only ok now come to the point again here we will discuss about arithmetic progression now progression in sequence done this part done arithmetic ok it means arithmetic progression in which we will follow the same rule for all the questions ok for all the sequence here means rule can be different different like 2 multiple of 2 double of 2 4 double of 4 8 double of 8 16 this is also one rule and this is also sequence yes it is sequence but this sequence will not come in arithmetic progression what kind of sequence will come in arithmetic progression that I am telling you <coughs> like I am writing a two table 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and up to infinite. Now in this case here you see if you will add plus 2 in preceding term then you will get 4. Here if you will add plus 2 in 4 then you will get 6. If I will add here plus 2 then I get 8 and in, you see the rule is common for each already we know it's a progression progression in the sequence in sequence all these numbers means we are adding in precedent term and we are getting succeeding term it should it must be equal okay now this is the sequence now how do we get the sequence in series and this main thing of this course this exercise okay in this, like first we added a 0 plus 2, we got 2. After that, in this term, okay, here 
2 in 2 we added 2 more ok no need to write this 2 then we get we got 4 and then in 4 we added 2 then we get 6 and in 6 we added 2 then add and you see here this is the common part you know in each and every term we are adding plus 2 ok and then we are getting the succeeding terms this is this is an AP arithmetic progression and what we will call this number this number we will call the common difference because the same number we are adding this number will call common difference generally we are denoting this common difference by small d it's not mandatory that we have to denote by the small d but generally we are using this small d and after ap 4 6 8, this first term of ap we are adding by a first is denoted by small a thus in this ap1 case the d is equal to 2 and a is equal to also 2 yes in this d is also 2 a is also 2 means both the things are same ok now in starting exercise of this arithmetic progression we will deal with the three types of questions ok so you come first type first type is like this questions means already AP given question question is not asking is it AP or not already given this is an AP ok but we only have to find out these two things A and B question is asking about A and B what is the first term and what is the common difference so now come to the point we will discuss in this section 5.1 first second these three types of questions ok now type first type first in this type of questions <coughs> you will get AP ok AP question will give you directly you will meet with an AP and just you directly have to write down what is the first term and what is the common difference between them we, no need to check is it AP or not directly we will calculate only so the first question example I am taking in this type of question the example first when AP is given 3 1 minus 1 minus 3 and without solving directly by looking we can write the first term of AP A is equal to 3 ok the first part complete now the second part common difference common difference D how will you calculate the common difference this is the difference between the two terms any two terms you take and you you will see that difference is same only ok so I am taking by these two terms ok always you subtract preceding term from succeeding term any you take any two terms you select ok continuous ok and then from preceding term sorry from succeeding term you subtract preceding term so from this minus 1 I am subtracting this 1 ok now d is equal to minus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 2 so the common difference is minus 2 common difference is minus 2 now this is the first type of question in which you will get direct AP direct AP and then afterwards you have to take out the first term and the common difference got it ok now the second time 
in type second you will get a and d <coughs> you will get a and d means first term you will get and the common difference you will get and then afterwards you have to find out the if okay at least three four terms we will take out and then afterwards we will write but it is not necessary only three only we have to take out five only it's not necessary but at least three terms at least we should take out three terms now in this type of function like first term given a is equal to four and common difference given b is equal to minus three now question is asking about the epigon draw an epi okay so see what we have discussed when we add the common difference in every preceding term then we will get succeeding term so our first term is already given first term I am writing 4 already given by you also you can deliver now the second term what uh, what every definition said that in every preceding term you add common difference add common difference it means 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 now third term every preceding now preceding term is 1 1 you add minus 3 <coughs> then it will be 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2 ok and the next term a4 minus 2 and add minus 3 because the common difference is minus 3 then we have to add minus 3 only so it's finally it is minus 5 it means we can write finally 4 1 minus 2 minus 5 no need to calculate more terms only we have to show the AP so this is the AP so finally our required AP arithmetic progression is this got it now when you question this D common difference can be in fraction also like 1 upon 2 3 upon 2 7 upon 4 it can be in fraction also in negative also in positive also no matter like this is also an AP I am writing here like 4 3 2 1 0 minus 1 this is also an AP ok they are following the same rule ok here difference is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 everywhere difference is minus 1 only so this is also an AP so AP can be in decreasing increasing in any way the common difference the common difference can be in fraction also in negative also in positive also now the third type now type third question <coughs> in type third question what we will do in third type question we will get one sequence we will get one arrangement of the numbers and then afterwards we will check is it AP or not if it is AP then we will calculate more three terms or two terms or five terms ok so in this one example is given example like this 2 5 by 2 3 7 by 2 <coughs> now come to the point still it is not given in the question this is an AP so what we will do first we will check is it AP or not so how we will check AP <coughs> we will take out the common difference if difference will be equal then it will be AP otherwise it will not be AP so the first difference I am going to take out in, in between two terms 5 by 2 minus 2 so what we will do we will take LCM 2 so it is 5 multiplied by 4 difference is 1 upon 2 this difference is 1 upon 2 now the second difference in between the next two terms here d1 here d2 3 minus 5 by 2 again 2 I am taking LCM so 6 minus 5 is equal to 1 upon 2 now here the difference d3 ok d3 difference in between these two terms 7 by 2 minus 3 again I am taking LCM 2 
seven minus six is equal to one by two. You see the difference between two successive terms is coming one upon two. It means the common difference of this AP, not this AP. You know, this is an AP. Sorry, this is an AP. Before it is not given, is it AP or not? But now I am telling you, this is this sequence is an in an AP. One upon two, one upon two, and one upon two. All the differences are coming equal. It means the difference is common. The difference between two successive terms is common. So finally, I am writing common difference. Small d denoted by small d is equal to one upon two. Common difference is one upon two, and the first term is two. Here, after looking these three differences, we will write yes, it is a p. By looking these three differences, we write yes, it is a p. Yes, it is a p. Which it is this. Now a. Now we need to take out the three more terms. How we we'll take out further three terms of this a p? So the base name. The method is here. <coughs> what is the method? In this, okay. The what is the last term? Okay. A one, A two, A three, A four, fourth term. Now we need fifth term. So in fourth term, we will add the common difference directly. We'll add the common difference. So as it is four, seven plus what will come? So decide directly means four is the answer. So two will come. Then it will be nine by two. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? This is totally wrong. Is it? Okay. Why I was wrong? Because I return. By the same rule, seven by four. Now, our which term? Fifth term. In preceding fourth term, we will add the common difference. Now, a five is equal to two LCM seven plus one eight by two is equal to four. So, fifth term is four. Now, for the sixth term, for sixth term, in fifth term, we will add one by two. And for seventh term, in sixth term, we will add the common difference, and we will get like this. Okay, this is the starting of this arithmetic progression. In this arithmetic progression, you know, now actually our exercise start is after this. This general introduction. This is the introduction, introductory part only of this arithmetic progression. <coughs> the main thing. Two things are only important in this. One is the first term. What is the first term of AP? And the second one is the common difference of an AP. And you know, common difference is only the important part because first term easily anybody can write by looking only starting term is the first term. Okay. Now we will start the further part of this in which we will derive the one formula. So wait.